Well, hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech Fall Varsity Tour launch event. Tonight we're celebrating the second leg of our educational tour, traveling across the country to demonstrate the power of TriCaster Portable Live Production. Last spring we visited the East Coast. This tour will be visiting parts of the Midwest and West Coast with what's probably the world's smallest high-definition multi-camera production vehicle. We've taken a Mini Cooper and equipped it with a NewTek TriCaster TCXD850 high-definition portable live production system and a NewTek 3-play high-definition multi-channel instant replay and slow motion system. Well, not only does it look cool, but it's also fully functional. In fact, we used it earlier this year for a live webcast at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl at the Alamo Dome right here in San Antonio, Texas. And it will be used later on in the tour for a live webcast of a high school football game up in Oregon. You'll find a full schedule of all the cities the Varsity Tour crew will be visiting by going to varsitytour.com. There you can also register for any of our free tour events. Attend any of our events and you'll be entered to win a prize package that includes a NewTek TriCaster TCXD850, LiveTex 2, and a full year of free streaming services from our tour support sponsor, Influxus. Now this package is valued at over $27,000. So again, to register for a free event, go to varsitytour.com. And while you're there, check out our Take Your Best Shot photo contest. All the details are right there at varsitytour.com. Now the theme of this tour is TriCaster in the schools. You know, various forms of visual, visual communication are being used more and more in schools, houses of worship, government, and business. Our increasingly connected world, the power of the internet is making it easier to deliver live visual programming. Now, practically anyone can reach a global audience streaming live video on the web. Services like Influxus make it easy to distribute live video or recorded video to viewers around the world. Through video, providers of news, information, entertainment, sports, and distance learning all benefit from technology that's available today. And network quality video production has never been easier or more accessible than now with New Tech TriCaster. TriCaster offers an all-in-one solution to live video production, making it a valuable and cost-effective choice for educators that provide the skills needed for today's information-driven world. Well, tonight we've invited teachers from two local schools to speak with us about how they can provide media education using New Tech TriCaster. At Hawkins High School in San Antonio, Texas, students are introduced to media production, providing the school with daily announcements and the live production of performances, sporting events, and graduation ceremonies. It's actually like a, a pretty fun class. I we actually get to like find out like what uh, filming crews actually do behind the scenes instead of what we just see like like on the screen. We actually know what's going to happen. I love about this class is you can be creative. Your, your mind, no, the teacher can't stop you if you being creative of your mind, and you can always be creative. Like any thought that you have, you can use it and have it on the you know TriCaster. And the teacher, doesn't, the teacher does not even say no or, or anything. He just says go ahead and do it. The TriCaster is easy enough to use as students have been able to come in. Just It's very user friendly and now it's actually allowed us to add into it a live show which we could not have done before without it. When morning news, the Spirit of Excellence Gospel Choir has been nominated in an award for the best male slash female choir group of the year. I like doing the television production because the TriCaster really puts you in the director's seat and you really get a feel for what you have to do just in case like you go on and pursue it. I feel that it is very educational and I don't think they could have really asked anything better than the TriCaster because it is allowing them to see real world applications and how this type of equipment can help them in the future. The University of the Incarnate Word provides college students with advanced media skills through the operation of the college television station, UIW-TV keeping the campus informed with news, entertainment information, and live sporting events. The students are absolutely in love with anything that we're doing because they get their hands-on. Hands-on experience in, in, uh, in the broadcast business is critical for them to find a job. I've had the opportunity to intern at a few TV stations. I've interned here in San Antonio, I've interned in Washington, D.C. 
But I wasn't actually able to work the equipment. You know, I was able to see that. But then when I came here and I learned that the TriCaster has those abilities as well, I was able to apply some knowledge that I learned visually and actually get hands-on experience in doing that. This is my second year really working with the TriCaster and I find it really functionable, really easy, and really easy to teach the other students being an upperclassman. It's always one thing to learn the hardware of something, the technical side of something, but then again it's, all, it's, it's something else to learn how to get the techniques right. And for that reason, the TriCaster is perfect. I mean, you don't have to have this big fancy switcher to learn how to do live cuts and live transitions, live you know, effects. I mean, it can all be done on the TriCaster. And when you move on to a bigger station with a fancier, you know, more sophisticated type of technical setting, it's just a matter of learning the hardware. And from then on now, it's all translated right over. If it wasn't for the TriCaster, uh, the students that we have working at the university and going to school here and graduating from here wouldn't have the skills needed in today's market and in future markets, whatever they may be, whether it's on the internet or, or whatever is coming down the pipe. We want them to have those social skills as well as the technical skills that they have with something uh, like the TriCaster. Well, please welcome Mr. Robert Weinrich from Hawkins High School and Mr. Hank McDonald from the University of the Incarnate Word. Yeah. Robert, I want to start with you. I want you to start by telling us a little bit about the program at Hawkins High School. Well, each year we probably put about 33 to 40 students through the program. They learn the basics of video technology. And with the introduction of the TriCaster now, they're learning how we can stream it, we can put them into um, a director seat as you saw in the video, so they're learning a whole lot, I think, more than what they possibly could have. So why do you think it's important for your students to learn these skills? Using the TriCaster, the students have learned more, they're more confident in themselves, they're learning to communicate with one another, and I believe it's preparing them for the future and gi giving them technical skills that they need. That's great. Well, Hank, tell us about the program at uh, the university. TriCaster has really helped us uh, in our program. We have 253 students. Uh, in our program and we have a production co uh, concentration and so the students uh, just love uh, the TriCaster that we have and they're using it. So uh, how, tell me how the students benefit from learning these skills. They benefit by able to give them the skills that they need when they get out into the workplace. Mm -hmm. I mean if, if we have students graduating that can't find a job uh, you know then uh, the onus is on us so mm -hmm. we have to we have to put them out there with the skills they need to, to do this and and what better practical way to do, do that with the TriCaster. That's great. Oh, tell me, how does the school overall benefit from the program? They benefit by us uh, letting the students uh, do what they do best and g do production. They, if they had to hire all the techni technology people and all the other uh, people to come in and, and broadcast a football game or whatever, uh, it, it would be costly for, for the university. We can use our students that we have right there that are ready, willing, and uh, love doing the work. That's great. Mm -hmm. So Robert, why did you choose the TriCaster for your program? Uh, we chose the TriCaster because of its small size, fits into any classroom. I don't need any big fancy studio to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, in the video, you saw my classroom's just a normal sized classroom. And we just painted one wall green and there it is. So. And, and what has it been like uh, using the TriCaster as a teaching tool? The TriCaster has been great as a teaching tool because it has lesson plans developed around it and the students are just, they pick up on it real easy since they're so tech savvy anyway these days. Are there some that really kind of pick up on it more than others? Or? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Some of they just find a knack for it. Others, they need a little bit more guidance towards it. But for the most part, I would say overall, probably 80% of my students have picked up on it rather quickly. That's fantastic. Um, Hank, what about the facilities at the university? Can you kind of describe the facilities you have there? We have uh, three TriCasters that we're using. Wow. One is we use in the studio where the students, the Com Art students, can come in and work and put together their productions for sports and, and uh, newscast. And they usually work late into the evening probably past my bedtime, but that's the way the students are. And then we also have a, a studio version and a broadcast version that we use at the football stadium mm -hmm. uh, to broadcast the football games. 
But so you started uh, with the studio facility and actually expanded into sports, isn't that right? Yes. Uh, we started football last year at the university, and we just decided that, hey, they, they came to me and said, the athletic department said, you know, somebody's trying to sell us this, this TriCaster with a bunch of cameras, and they want to hook it up to the scoreboard, and we don't know anything about it. And I said, well, I can help. <laughs> and I said, this is, we've been using this, we know how to do it. And I said, we'll take care of it, we'll uh, baby it, and we'll uh, get the students out there. So th they just love it, That's you know, great. when it comes like that. So uh, uh, what kind of support do you get from the leadership at the school with, within your program? What do, what do they think of your program? Well, first and foremost, if we weren't able to have uh, the TriCaster, we wouldn't be able to stream and do what we've been doing uh, now. If in, in the past, you, you know, broadcasting was just prohibitive. And our president's been wanting to go, you know, and do these things. So he knows the power that we have now and, and the portability that we can do with the TriCaster. Mm -hmm. And he's been very, very supportive along with the provost and the rest of the administration. That's great. So you have an on-campus television station that streams live. Yes, we do. It's mm -hmm. uh, something that we've, we've been using uh, for, for two years. U UIW-TV has only been on the air for two years. and. It's a student-run operation. UIW TV is, is, I'm just the advisor. I just sit there and watch the, watch the students go, and, and they teach me. They say, Hank, come here, check this out. What, <laughs> look what I'm doing. And, and they're teaching me all the time. So this collaborative learning that we have is just terrific. And, and they're the ones running the stations. They're officers, they're, they're program directors, they're operations managers, they're news directors. They're, they all have titles, and they all get paid and we just treat them like they're, they, you guys have, this is a real job, you know, this is what you're going to wow. be doing. And Sounds like great experience. Mm -hmm. So, Robert, w what are some of the events that uh, are covered at, at uh, Hawkins High School? I know morning uh, announcements, what else are covered? Anything that's school related that they can do. This year we just started our live show when we're um, looking now to do it at Dual, where we're going to do it live plus stream at the same exact time. That's really great. Well, let me ask you both this question. We'll start with you, Hank. Where do you think the future of media is heading? And how do you think TriCaster will help prepare students for that future? Media in the future is, is changing. The students that we have today uh, come to me and say, how can I put something on this little device here? And that little device uh, is, could be something else in the future. And I don't know what that is. So we, we have to be ahead of them and kind of figure out where this is going as best we can. Mm -hmm. But if, if we can create something and put it on there, uh, wherever it's going, that visual, that medium that we're <coughs> using or, or how it's going to end up, um, the TriCaster is, is the ticket. I mean, it's such a good package. It's just really helping us and, and getting our students the, the what they need and the skills that they uh, need to work with. And R Robert, what do you think? I mean, you know, how, how important is it for students to be educated in this kind of technology? Well, with um, the internet expanding, TV's going to the web, uh, the students, they need the education, they need to know the skills, and the TriCaster is a very simple way to get them there. Great. Well, I want to thank you both for joining us. Uh, I wish you, uh, your schools, the best of success, and of course, your students as well. And uh, just remember, I want to remind everyone that if you would like to come to any of our free events on the Varsity Tour, just visit varsitytour.com to register. Thanks for joining us.